everyone. I'm Jackson Horn with Nordson Corporation. Today we're here at the Georgia Power Customer Resource Center and we're painting parts from powder coating. And we're working on powder application and which nozzles to choose for your application. For this setup, we're using an Encore LT vibratory box feeder with a blue Exalta metallic powder coat. Uh, the setup, we've got a 19 millimeter conical nozzle um, on the handgun and we're gonna coat a flat panel compared to a piece of tubular metal. Um, the first part, we're gonna paint the uh, flat metal with a conical nozzle. You're gonna see it's a little bit more focused and center line. You don't have a wide spray pattern. Uh, then when we move over to the tubular metal, it's gonna have a narrow pattern that wraps around that part, gives you a consistent film build and quality. So you can see the the powder path is kind of splotchy, not a very consistent film build. You now we go over here to the metal, the tubular metal. You can see how we've got a consistent film build across the part. And even if we rotate it, it's just gonna show you how the powder wraps around the whole part and you've got a center focus, blends well. For this setup, we have a four millimeter nozzle and we're gonna coat a flat panel compared to a piece of tubular metal. What you're gonna see with a flat spray nozzle is you've got a wider spray pattern and you can get a wider coverage across, across the part. So you can see a nice even spray pattern, a lot of the powder going onto the part keeping everything very consistent. You can inspect the part with the light on the gun. Now when we get to the tubular metal, the powder is gonna attract very well. However, you're gonna see a lot of overspray. Not exactly what we see when we use the conical nozzle. So you can see the part has a good coverage. And the powder wraps fairly well. However, we saw a lot of overspray, so we lost some transfer efficiency. 